In the following hyperconnective and super intelligent society, we would realize robot service, self-driving car, and drone in everywhere by controlling of Internet of Things. This advanced technology would be operated from the eco-friendly energy storage system, especially battery. Lithium-ion battery have received much attention as a portable electronic industry has been developed. However, during the last 20 years, the battery size has very slowly increased, which cannot compete with the memory size now. Nevertheless, the technology is continuously growing up and also moving toward a new market, especially for automotive battery. The scale of the battery market for hybrid vehicle has incredibly increased during the last five years. Well, the challenge is driving range, which is still less than 100 miles, very far away from the target of the 500 mile, which will achieve for the full battery powered car we call electric vehicle. So the current and tentative way to increase driving range is just loading very large package of the battery series to the old the bottom of the car, which are very expensive and also heavy. Therefore, it is highly required to invent the new battery system from the new electrochemistry, which will fulfill more than five times higher energy density than the current one. The lithium oxygen battery is one of the promising candidates. Oxygen gas is clean, abundant, and lightweight energy source. When the battery is breathing in during discharging, the car is driving, and the driving range is more than three times longer than the current one. Inside of the battery, oxygen gas and lithium produce the solid state of the lithium peroxide. When the battery is breathing out during electric charging, the lithium peroxide can decompose and oxygen gas evolved. This breathing in and out process can be repeatable. Let's look at the, our real image of the electrode. We have used the carbon nanotube electrode. There are many voids for the oxygen incoming and also outgoing. After discharging, the toroidal shape of the lithium peroxide can be formed. Unfortunately, they are very big and the insulating property. So they can decompose very slowly and oxygen evolution rate is also very slow. We have tried to resolve this challenge by the tuning of the lithium peroxide morphology. It was achieved by the chemical modification of the electrode surface, which provides active site where oxygen gas is very easily sitting on and lithium peroxide can be formed. We found that the more sitting site provides smaller and the more porous lithium peroxide, which can promote oxygen evolution. So we extend our idea to produce the smaller, thinner, and more porous lithium peroxide, which can rapidly decompose compared to the bigger one. And the such idea allows for the fast charging, which is one of the very important issues in electric vehicle. The charge and discharge can be also cycles very long term period. The catalyst, for example, hexagonal nanostructures nickel oxide can enhance the recycling stability. There are still much effort required to getting lower the technical uh, hurdles which will achieve in the very near future. The next battery I would like to introduce is operated from the iodine electrochemistry. There are already commercial lithium iodine batteries which are widely used for the cardiac pacemaker. However, they are not rechargeable. Very interestingly, when the iodine meets water, it can be the source of the rechargeable battery. Iodine is exists as a triiodide in water with excess iodide, and its high solubility guarantees long time operation. The dark brown color of the triiodide solution becomes transparent during discharging, and this color goes back during the electric charging. So it is very easy to find the states of the discharging and the recharging from the, this, the color change. In this liquid battery, the, all the reactants and products are soluble molecules. So in this configuration, the battery can be very feasibly scaled up with the liquid reservoir and the circulating pump. In addition, when incorporating with the very low potential of the redox molecule, the battery can be the lithium-free and the safer energy storage system. Further, the iodine has been widely used for the solar cell, which can guide us how could we link with the sustainable energy source. For example, with the solar panel on the roof of the electric vehicle, the battery can be charged from the solar energy, which can lower the dependence of the plug in charging. So such a combination of the sustainable energy source and the storage system is ideal for the future society, especially for green and the safer energy system. 
the battery should be developed further, for the, especially the long lived robot and the long driving range of the vehicle, which support the successful, the first industrial revolution in the coming era. Thank you very much.